Hello! Welcome back everyone. Due to multiple people asking about how to put a livery on top of an existing material, I've decided to put together a quick guide on how to make a livery in Blender. Hello everybody, welcome back. So, I've been asked this problem many times. Basically, people want to do the livery, but they also want to keep the texture that's underneath. Like, say like they've put a fancy car paint on it and they want to keep it. Now, they want to know how they can basically layer them up. So, as a little explanation, I'm gonna show you what we have already. And if you haven't watched the previous video, I'm gonna say click this link, maybe. Uh, you'll know that we've created a texture here. Now, what your question is, is I can't change this base color because the texture's overriding it, isn't it? So, what the simple thing to do is this is you pull off your color oy oy, and we want a mixed color it's already there look. and what this is going to do it's going to help separate our colors now this is an explanation just a quick one so what we need to do is we need to switch the a the color into the b which i remember as standing for black the black always goes on the bottom yeah so what we also need to do is change that texture to add yeah and then we can plug it in and as you can see we can now change the color whatever color you want well, I don't know if you can notice uh, what the problem is here. So, I usually go for green because there's no green in this image. If we look at this car now, can you see what's happening? Might be a bit more obvious here. Basically, because when using alphas, we're basically working with black and whites, aren't we? Like white is positive and black is negative. So, anything black on that texture, it basically considers a see-through thing. Now, with a full drift car livery, this is a big problem. And I assume this is what, what problem you've had had yeah so in this episode we're going to walk through this issue yeah how can we make it so we can have a sparkly paint job on the bottom and then a livery on top yeah Let's go. So then, how do we get around this problem? It would probably it would probably be easier if I just show you in a new file, which I've already opened it. Up. So if you bring in a plane, a cube, or whatever you want, and we'll walk his way through this, nice and simple. So if we open up our shader editor, because it's the important menu in this operation, we can see we've got nothing. Now, if we create a new shader, we'll get a principle BSDF. Yeah. Now uh, we can change the color of it here. We can change the color of it here. Yeah, it makes no odds but what we've done now is we've created a material output and we've created a means of telling what to output yeah now what we need to do as in last time what we did was we selected this object didn't we and then we went into texture paint and what we did was we came over to this menu here and we created a new texture slot now that menu is no longer there anymore it used to be up here it's now up here kind of thing if we shrink this down for you can you see this menu up here our texture slots are here this is your primary like thing if we go to our shader editor and press N so that disappears, we can see our shader editor. Now, what we need to do is create a texture. It's like an image texture, but we also need it to be linked into texture paint, don't we? So if we come over to here and we create a new texture, can you remember this menu from the last video? If you didn't, go and catch up. But when we created the base texture, we made sure it was black. Now, we need to do that so that when we correlate the tran transparency, it understands that black is see-through, yeah? So that's why we make it black. But what we also, what you need to do is we need to also turn down the alpha. The alpha is like how see-through something is, yeah? So we need to crank this all the way down and it'll create a see-through texture, basically. Whereas before, we was using a color. Now, with drift cars, it's different kind of thing because it's usually a base paint, you know what I mean? It's just keep it simple and then learn the process and then you can advance thereafter, you know what I mean? So this is like your advanced tutorial. So we want it black, transparency, and we need to make sure we turn everything down to zero, including the alpha. If we press OK, we'll now have that same texture here. And if you noticed, it's disappeared, yeah? So what we need to do now is paint something on that texture so we can see it, don't we? So if we go over to our shader editor, so we can actually see it, there we go. We can see it's black at the minute, yeah? So the next thing we need to do is create a texture to paint onto this, don't we? So this menu used to also be over in this menu, but Blender 4.0, it's up here now. So if we create a new texture and we want the mapping to be of a stencil variety, yeah, then we create new texture. We now have one. What 
we can do now is come back over to this menu here and we can add a new texture using this menu. Yeah, weird. So if we come over here and click open, we can then like add our own picture. I've been using this. It's a good example because it's got a faded edge on it, you know what I mean? So it was like a good test. So if we go in, remember you press control and the middle button. Control. If you press control and the right mouse button, you can rotate it. If you press shift, you can scale it. Yeah. So we just make it small so it's quicker to paint. If we now just test paint it like so, we can see it's working. Yeah. If we zoom in, we can see it. Obviously, we've used a small texture size, haven't we? So if we switch over to our UV editor, we can see now we've got a see-through background and our sticker in the middle. Yeah. This is how you can then change the background. Yeah. So what we can do now is come out of texture paint and go into the layout. We zoom in and we can see we've got this setup now, haven't we? So with what I showed you at the beginning of the video, if we put in a mixed color here and then connect it into our principal bit, but yes, yeah. What we can do is put this channel into the B for black so that it knows it's black yeah and then we select I believe it's mixed like so aha uh -huh. but as you can see it's like it's mixing the two layers together and it's like ah we, we kind of don't want that you know what I mean what we want is for it to just completely ignore that black area don't we and in order to do that we need to tell it the alpha this alpha the black bits need to be factored in to this scale so we plug it into this this nipple all right yeah and then you can see we have our sticker on top of a color that you can change effectively so if we make it red the sticker stays the same color and the background changes red. Want to make it blue? You can make it blue. Beautiful. It's really that simple. This is your secret here. It's your mixed color node. So obviously you can make this more complicated if you want. What you can then choose to do is like add a texture in there kind of thing. So if it was to, hmm, well if I shift and duplicate this, you can basically add that one in at the top. You know what I mean? Obviously now it's including the whole layer with the black as well. You know what I mean? As a simple means of operation, that's how you can change the color underneath your livery if you need to yeah i hope this helps there probably is another way to do this whereby what we do is we, we create a color clamp and we clamp off this area and we do like this bit's white that bit's black and we basically tell it only show through but it's just that's too complicated for me you know what i mean i think this is the winning way it's probably going to be the most friendly for your computer as well to like work it's basically just remember your alpha layers you know what i mean yeah it's that simple um if you enjoyed watching this thank you for watching if you've got any more questions i'll try and answer them um with these little tricks, you can make all kinds of weird things. Did he just call us weird? That's totally not cool, bro. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. Hey, Gavron, we have a problem here? Yeah, these little samosas watching need to like and subscribe so I don't feel stupid with no friends. <laughs>